Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's been freaking forever since I played and I had to kind of go over some things and remember. But we are in Athens right now and uh, attempting to unseat Cleon it looks like. Also, somebody was uh, very kind and kind of pointed out how if I want to um, be the very best assassin. Uh, there are certain abilities that I don't have, specifically the hero strike, I guess, which is, it's just, this is like, I think it's the only like active fight ability that like you can use as an assassin. Like it's the only active fight ability that will use your assassin bonuses. And this person was saying, like, they, they've engraved all their armor with, like, all these assassin perks and all this stuff. Um, and, and they're able to do, like, so much damage. Like, a crazy amount. And I'm not really into the min-maxing in Assassin's Creed, because that's not what I want to do in Assassin's Creed. But if that's what I have to do, maybe that's what I have to do. But, what did we get on Cleon? Uh, yeah, yeah. Deal with Aristophanes and I'll chop off his head, I'll chop off yours. He mocks me with his plays. Me! At a time when he the mass is afraid of Sparta, mean and angry. He's writing comedies. Make the laughing fool cry. I'll help you one last time. I know one of Aristophanes' actors is enamored with some girl he's calling his muse. Find her. Okay. So that was like beforehand. So we've got another thing on Cleon. Oh, but apparently, also, if I want to get a legendary set that has assassin abilities, I have to defeat, it's the pirate set, which comes with the Agamemnon League. Or the Aegean Sea, sorry. The Aegean League. We already got this guy, he gave us the pirate gauntlets. So, I don't even know what level am I? 41? Cool beans. Anyway. I'm not gonna do that right- I'm not gonna do the, like, engraving and stuff right now. I kind of just have to get- I have things I have to do today, so I don't have time. My plan, sort of, is to basically- No! Do this- Do the min-maxing thing off-screen, essentially, and just, like, show you guys the results. We'll see. We'll see, though. See how that goes. I might need to respec a little bit too, like uh, my ability points, just so I can get the hero strike as well. Or yeah, the hero strike. And also, there are things I'm just not using, so you know. Monument of Hippolytos. Nice. Do I need a Temple of Fame? It's nice. Oh, if I was playing this on my own. And I had the time, I I'd probably, because you can go to the map setting and read a bunch of stuff about the, like, historic places. Okay, so this is not a, uh, walk-in, walk-out sort of a situation. Who'd have thought, right? I better be able to see the guards. I'll be upset if I can't. I should be able to see them maybe when they're under cover. Okay. No, Looks like right. someone dug okay. here. Oh, okay. Oh, in it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, weird. I've never encountered that. I need to get into that room, which means this guy needs to die. Also, I don't know if I've already. Yes, yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know if I already knew this and I just forgot. But doing that big assassination, I was also informed, takes an adrenaline segment. So that's cool. That's cool. The game really doesn't want me to assassinate things. 
Your personal effects have been moved and hidden like you asked. I'll keep the key safe until further notice and continue patrolling the Parthenon. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Fire. You the You're not the commander. You don't have a fancy anything. Muddy tracks. Probably came from oh, Okay, so that them. that chest. Okay, the chest that I need a key for. For. Cool. cool. Got that at least. This shovel looks recently okay, used. Okay. Yep. All right. I already jumped on it. Apparently, and that's cool. <laughs> totally on accident, but I did it. Look at me. Finding clues before I even need to. Okay. Yeah, I, I see it now, but I need that key. There's a buried chest in Cleon's garden. It's not buried! It's not buried! In fact, it is unburied! <laughs> it is the exact opposite of buried. Alright, where you at? Fun fact. <laughs> Uh, I just want to assassinate people so I don't have to do long protracted battles. Oh, oopsie. Whoa. Nope. Hush, 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 hush. I should have used the thing. Oh well. Alright, here we go. We'll get out. Just leave me alone, okay? Just leave me alone. I don't want to deal with any of you. And if I kill one bounty hunter, another one takes its place, so... I'm not interested. I'm not interested! Hi, dog. Alright, I'm gonna do my best to stealth assassinate. You know, at least take off a chunk of the health bar, and then off we go. <laughs> Off we go! Possibly. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? This does not, this does not take a short amount of time. Wait. Are you the person? Oh my gosh. You're right there. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, you're right there. Citizen, you have nothing to fear from me unless you start attacking me. Bye, buddy. All right, back I go. That'll take all damage. Oh, God, there's a bounty hunter right there. <laughs> no need to crouch. We just need to run back to the key. That was that was great. Thank you, game, for letting me stealth assassinate properly. A full stealth kill, because for some reason I have to use an adrenaline segment to stab extra hard, even though, you know, I would be stabbing as hard as I could anyway. It's fine. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, I was about to be really angry. Wow, it sounds like someone's puking, but they're probably just fighting or something. <gasps> calm down, calm down. <sighs> Socrates was right. This is exactly well, what we needed. What did we got a hound skull? Okay. Cleon's papyrus. Let's see. Uh, oh, with the key? Yep. Yeah. And after the attack on Mytilene is a success, we'll have no problem or shortage of men for your next targets. We'll have the ships ready as soon as any vote passes. Okay. That doesn't really, I mean, that doesn't seem, like, terribly incriminating. Like, I mean, I know the Mytilene thing, like, the people voted, they agreed. Like, they, I mean, Cleon, like, manipulated the vote, but, um, the people agreed to do it, you know? So they're like, okay, after the Mytilene thing's a success, it's like, oh good, we want the Mytilene thing to be a success because that's what we voted for. Like, I don't see how this is gonna help our case.
But like maybe it's the shortage of men thing. We won't, we won't have a shortage of men for your next thing. But I don't even know. It didn't even say who the letter was addressed to. I think it was just a, just an initial maybe. I didn't even see. It. I didn't even see that. But it could be because I'm rushing maybe a little bit. Yeah, I got freaked out by that gray, the gray skull up there on the top, the gray, or the gray mercenary helmet. I was like, no, please. Please. It's also a little bit, it's a little bit ridiculous how they can, like, follow my tracks. But I guess, I guess in a city, the bounty hunters could technically be like, did you see a person with this description running by? Come on. Oh my gosh, come on. We have never had a problem with walls before. Oh, hello. Oh boy, is this okay? We're gonna we're gonna do this right now. We're oh my gosh, am I gonna have to fight Cleon? <laughs> oh, that's gonna okay, okie dokie then. Time to save. Am I gonna have to fight Cleon like on a stage? I I'm really curious how this is gonna pan out. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this Good to your luck. advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? I mean, I, I'll try. Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. Okay. So, like, I, I believe this is a pretty traditional... But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people. Yeah. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Uh, how would a Cleon person respond? I don't know. That's ridiculous. I'm not harming the person, someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose okay, I okay, do. Okay, okay, okay. We right. have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many? Or the one who has more Interesting. Expertise. Uh, I don't know. The, the many? I don't know how Cleon... I think Cleon would say decide with the crowd. The majority is always right. And who is informed yeah, 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 of the yeah, majority? Yeah. I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the, top at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? Um. Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe okay. the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However... Those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, oh that was leaders. good, that was good. Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and this was very, implore you very interesting. Hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. 
Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. Was it not enough? That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the. But I did. I, I acted like a Cleon supporter because you know I had to say the op the opposite thing in order for Socrates to to show that like that method of thinking was incorrect you know like he had he had to he i had to speak like a cleon supporter so that so that socrates could address their concerns through me essentially all we did was talk what we did was far more we used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt cleon but hopefully save countless lives but was it enough I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. I don't know, man. That one, I mean, the people didn't seem to care at all, you know? What? Like, we did our argument, and they seemed to agree with us, but then they were like... me, And I was like, oh. Oh, so this is, yeah, this is the sword that if I use with the hero strike ability, I would get a bonus. A bonus. Uh, sure. Ooh, assassin damage, nice. I just, yeah, I just don't know, I don't know about that one. But I feel like I did everything properly. Like the way I was supposed to. I can't remember, I think that's a specific, um, style of argument. Where, but and that, that's what traditionally, like, uh, anyway, Socrates and Plato would, would, and like, I think, um, or no, Socrates and Aristotle, and, I, and Plato would do it with others as well, but, um, they would, uh, they would basically stand on either side of, the, either side of the argument and try to discuss their way to either, you know, bringing, tr turning the one's mind to the other side, or, or just an exercise in, like, it was just basically just an exercise in discourse, like standing on one side of the argument and the other is basically what debate clubs are for. It's essentially what it is nowadays. Oh, oh return to Socrates. Where'd you go, Socrates? But this is all still well within my level. I'm feeling pretty safe-ish. Although someone did warn me that I think the next big quest is going to have something that's actually, it's like... It's like, oh, you need to be this level, you're fine. And then it's gonna actually be like way worse. But that's kind of like how several of the quests have been. Where it's like, oh yeah, totally, totally just uh, be this level. And then it's like, actually that's the lowest requirement for the easiest part of the quest. You actually need to be like six levels higher for the rest of it. It's like, cool, thanks. Appreciate it. How do I get into this house? Do I get into the house via the roof? Like, I, I'm pretty sure there's gotta be a door somewhere for normal people to use. Can I, okay, maybe I just missed it the first time around. Hi, how are you doing? You are not doing well. You are very drunk. You are very drunk. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasidas sent me to find you. 
He's alive oh, and okay. well. Okay. Where is he now? Amphibolis. Oh. They're preparing for battle. Wait. If you reach him before what? I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? What? 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 Uh, what? Uh, I mean, I can kill Cleon at any point in time. But we're both going to the same place, right? So wh why is Brassidas going? I assume Brassidas wants to go kill Cleon? Um... Why does this have to be mutually an, a mutually exclusive decision? We're going to the same place. Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. What do you mean? Be safe. He's only a, um, I know he's only a man. <laughs> I uh, I mean I just stabby stab him and and he die, you know what I mean? Like I'm not I'm not terribly concerned, although technically it's a pain in the butt because it's really hard to beat people. Left to lead an army to reclaim and okay, so I thought he was gonna speak. But there is, so he's, okay, as, as that was something that I did think of. I was like, okay, if he's gone to lead an army, that changes things. Um, but if he hasn't, like, if he's just going to chit-chat, I'm like, it's not, what was the big deal? But they didn't say that in the actual dialogue. Um, maybe I should have been remembering that in Am Amphipolis, in order to, so he's trying to bring, like, pe make people regain their trust in him, so he's trying to take back something that the Spartans have captured. Uh, make this Cleon's last campaign and take down the enigmatic cultist. Okay, so no, also, I mean, all I need to do is make sure Cleon, at the very least, fails. So if I'm on the side of the Spartans with Brasidas, and I make it so that the Athenians don't, aren't successful, then Cleon will also be even less, you know, uh, like people will trust him less because he couldn't even do what the last minute thing that he set out to do. I was kind of curious if Cleon's uh, power had gone down, but it hasn't with everything I've done. But that's okay. Uh, anyway, I don't think I, I don't think at this point I have like in the episode time <laughs> to. I believe this is gonna be a battle, like a giant, you know, a giant battle thing. Image of the day, woo! Oh, that is really nice. I like that. Um, where even is it? I don't even know. Oh yeah, this is another place I could go that may have a mythical creature. Not sure. That's the one that's in the center of a volcano. Am I just not seeing it? Talk to Brasidas and I'm- It's not like I have to like, find it. Oh, wow! Way up here in Macedonia! Wow! I'm getting closer and closer and closer and closer to Lesbos. Nice! Okay, that's gonna be- that's gonna be quite a trip. But I think, unfortunately, I will have to call it here. I know it's kind of a short one, and I've kind of just been chatting all over the place. Maybe, maybe actually really quick. Let's reset my abilities. Oh, it's kind of scary. Anyway, focus on this. We'll get the hero strike. I kind of wish it would let you just remove one or two, you know? But it is what it is. Oop. Do I have it? Fully upgraded. Pretty cool. 
assassinate. Obviously, we need the reveal secrets thing. I had poison. So this will be maybe my assassin. Like, I'll have the front melee thing be my assassin one. Oh, yes. Upgrade that all the way. Okay. Did I want another assassin ability? I didn't even use this, so... Here, we'll do that. Oh, yeah. Hey, little nearby. I mean, I can do that. That, that seems kind of silly. I don't really need to do that. Sparta kick. Of course, I need a Sparta kick. That'll go here. The char. Oh, healing, definitely. Yeah, we'll put it there. The Ring of Chaos was very handy. I mean, it's super powerful for sure, but. Oh, yes, and this one. And I had. I definitely had fire. I would kind of like to put that. Where did I. Where did it go? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll put it here. And a pyromancer. I, I don't think I actually had those. The, like, increased proficiency in fire and everything and whatnot. Fully upgrade my weapons and my armor. And I do like the predator shot. I do like devastating shot. And I know I had those fully upgraded, but I'm starting to run out of upgrade slots. I haven't really I haven't really done that stuff. Oh, yes. Well... Dang. Paralyzing... Oh, man, I'm running out of... I'm running out. I did have that, and it was useful for the big boss fights, sort of. I do, I can't, I can't neglect my archery because it's super important for the big boss fights, the big mythical creature fights where I can't, like, I can't stay close to them. I can't use assassin or melee attacks on them. Oh... Um... I mean, I think I had these pretty far, pretty well upgraded, but like up all the way, possibly. Uh, I mean, that does so much, it requires like so much adrenaline segment as well, you know? So it's kind of, ugh. Ugh. I would like to get that one too, eventually. What is this? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll get that. Can I assign it? Oh no, that's right. It's not an assigned one, it's just one that will show up and I can use it with the R1, R2. Okay, well, that's my new setup, it looks like. I have Hero Strike. Probably should have 
And I probably should have used a couple more upgrade points on that, but that's okay. I upgrade fairly quickly now, or like I, I level up fairly quickly, so I'll probably put more into Hero Strike. But at least I can mess with it right now. Uh, and I definitely need to not neglect my ranged abilities because those are pretty much all I can use against mythical legendary creatures. But anyway, thank you all for uh, coming with me on this wonderful journey of respecking. Hopefully next time I'll have had time to potentially, at least on this current set of armor, I don't know if I can add engravings to legendary sets, but I might try. If not, I'll just have to make a ragtag set, I guess. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this goes with what I've got. But, thank you all for joining me. I do appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you in the next one.